Hello, Maximo, how are you? How was your day, Maximo? Hello, Daniel. How are you? Hello. Uh, good night. Uh, good evening. Yes, yes, yes. I know, Maximo. There's some problem with it. Um, if you want, Maximo, try to go out and then come back in. Maybe that will activate the microphone. Okay. Hey, so Daniel, what happened yesterday? You didn't come to class yesterday. Uh, these days ago, uh, I come back to El Salvador and the first day and the, to this weekend, my mom, uh, my mom's birthday and, uh, yesterday I have an, another meeting, meeting with, 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 with my friends to, to come. So, sorry for 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 fail the class but <laughs> but it's for for receive because i'm i'm um out to the salvador uh, many days okay before okay. And, and when you are out of el salvador uh tell me uh, do you are you working you're on vacation i'm on vacation um yeah. mm -hmm. practically one month uh, uh, i was out to el salvador oh. in colombia I, I was there i have a a, a route um bogota cartagena medellin cali i explore many 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 sites oh mm, that's wonderful okay good yes to and, and and the last days uh, start start the course. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Mm -hmm. So yes, so exactly in the day that you were going on vacation, began the course, huh? Yes. <laughs> uh huh. No, oh, well, it's okay. All right. Well, uh, let's see. We also have uh, Julisa, Julisa, and Maximo. Maximo, were you able to fix the audio? Hello. Hello. Now it's yet, okay. Maybe. It's yes. okay. Now we can hear you. Great. Okay. So it's good to have everybody here. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, let's take a look and review a little bit about yesterday before we begin. Let's see. Okay. So as you can see, um, yesterday we were looking at and we finished using past modals, okay? So past modals were the words, for example, could, should, would, might, but we use them with the word have. This was the idea. All of the past models we used with have. Today, we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue using past models for degrees of certainty. So one more time, what were the past models? 
past models where all of the words went halves. So you had the model, okay. Then we had the the word have, not has, okay. And then we had the verb in the past participle. Okay, so in the chat, you can see the grammar structure and I will give you an example, okay? As an example. Okay. So if you say, as an example, uh, if I had learned English, I could have gotten a better job. This is how we use the past models. Normally, we're going to use the verb had and then the other verb in the past participle. Okay. So one more time, uh, I'll write the complete sentence. That way you can have an example and then we're going to watch the video. But we're going to talk about, these are called their conditionals and you're talking about things in the past. Okay. So if I had learned English and then you can put, oh, I could have gotten a better job. Okay. Let's take a look at the video and see some more, but in the chat, you have an example, the grammar structure, so that you can have a reference. Home. It's this time we'll study past models for degrees of certainty. Stay and find out what this is about. Past models for degrees of certainty. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her cell phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Past models for certainty. We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. We may also use couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. We may use may, might, or could have. So remember, we may use may, might, and could when something is possible, but we don't know for sure. When you want to use may, might, or could have, this is what you should follow. Subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. She may have gotten lost. I will present two situations. We want you to come up with the best explanation. Number one, your best friend is in a terrible mood today. Number two, your brother or sister is short of money again. Okay. This so time we'll let's take a look. She may not at here. Here's a very easy way for us to get it. So if we look at the words for, as an example that they have must or must not, this is like 90%. You are 90%. You are almost certain. This means you almost believe it to be positive or negative. Okay. So if someone, if your mom didn't call you, something must have happened because she always calls you, okay? So that's the idea for must and must it, almost certain. Then it's not possible. This is where it's, for you, it's like 0%. When you use couldn't have is for you, you think it's impossible. As an example, A, hey, what happened to you yesterday? And you say, ah, I was taken by aliens. You couldn't have been taken by aliens. They don't exist. This would be the idea for the other example for couldn't have. Or, hey, I saw Michelle yesterday. No, Michelle is in Mexico. You couldn't have seen Michelle. Maybe you are mistaken. This is impossible. It's okay, the idea a must, could, sorry, must and couldn't. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Then we have the maybes. 
the maybe yes, maybe no, a little. That's the words may, might, and could. May, might, and could are those, okay? So the, how do you know the difference? The smaller the word, the smaller possibility. She may have forgotten a small possibility. She might have a, forgotten a little bit bigger possibility. She could have forgotten more possibility, but it's the same ideas. All of them are possibilities. The only difference is how much. So we have must 100%, okay? Then we have could, might, may, and couldn't. This is the order of the structure. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Teacher, I have a, a question. Yes, Maximum. It's possible to say she could have been at home. She could have it. Have no. no, because it could is the negative, is couldn't, not the negative haven't. Okay. Right? Why not have? Because have is not that is is not the model. Is could so the negative goes with the model. That's why if you look, is couldn't, is mustn't, must not, is might not, may not, is never correct, must have not, is never correct, may have not, is the model and not is not half and not. Okay. Okay? Good. Because that is a different grammar. For the grammar with half is only half, not with the models. Okay. So now we're going to take a look at a little bit of usage. Here we have many different situations. As you can see, we have several options six options so with your partners you're going to read and discuss what for you is the best option what do you think is the best one remember in this moment you are in 3.4 in the platform so with your partners 3.4 we're going to have just four minutes because it's only a little bit it's not a lot only six and only is multiple choice but 3.4 in the platform, complete with your partner, four minutes.
Okay, Alexandra, what is number one? Okay, Jane is in a terrible mood today. Uh, she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Okay, good. Danielle, what is number two? Uh, I, 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 want, I have a one question because we have a one discuss with Maximo and, and, and I'm not sure if you can repeat the, the order to, to most in, uh, to what word is most in the table, uh, what is 10% or almost 10% or, or what is the lower no I need, problem. I want to, to, it's to okay. have. Okay, so the let me go back here in our video. Here, let me put it. Not have remembered. There we have. Okay, must, must in positive is like 90%. 90%, mm -hmm. yes. This is 90%, yes. Must not is the same idea in the negative. You are, this is, she must not have turned on her cell phone. You are positive. You are 90% positive. She did not do this action. You are 90% positive. She did this action. This is must not. Couldn't have is for you is impossible. This is like 0%. 0% is not possible. And then we have in the middle. So must have. A must not have is the highest. Couldn't have is the lowest. And then we go in the middle. In the middle is could, might, and may. May is close to zero. Could is close to the 90%. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. What do you think is number two? He, is, he might... Uh, no have a no see yes uh, he he might not have done his work time okay cool number three uh morena yes the teacher looked very happy today uh he may have gotten a raise okay good number four maximum She must not have gotten enough sleep. Okay. Thank you. Say she, but it's for she, correct? Yes. She, mm -hmm. good. And Anna, Anna, number five. Okay. 
Jeff was fired from his job. Um, he might not have done this work on time. Good. And the last one, number six, Julissa. My cousin is short of money again. She must have spent too much last month. Okay, great. Now we have a way to explain different situations, okay? All of those, as you can see, all of those are correct. Very good ideas, except for right here, where we say Jane is in a terrible mood, was correct, but Brian got a call and looked worried, okay? We say he might not have done his work on time, but probably better, he couldn't have heard good news. Now, if he's at work, maybe it could have been C, but it's probably if you receive a phone call and you don't look happy, you look worried, it's probably bad news. That's the only one that was a little bit confusing, but the other ones, very good job, as you can see. Any questions? No question. No? No. All right. Good. So now we're going to take a look at giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical past events, okay? So we're gonna take one more moment. We're gonna use what we learned, which is called past models, okay? How do we make past models? Remember, could have, would have, might have, may have, okay? Must not have, must have. All of the words with have are for the past. This changed the models to the past. We're going to use them to give advice and recommendations on events. Let's watch the video. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is gonna be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. Okay, so what do we use? We use should in positive or negative. As an example, here, the opinion uh, is like what I think is the correct thing. Shouldn't is what I think is the correct not to do. This is the idea for giving opinions. Should and shouldn't. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay. Let's take a moment and review this, okay? So when you use should, you're normally normally talking about the other person directly or a third person, okay? And this is what you tell them. This is your opinion. You should have, he should have, uh, they should have, okay? All of these are should or shouldn't have. This is to give or to tell the person what to do. When you say would or wouldn't, normally you are referring to yourself. 
you are using the first person. You are imagining yourself in the situation and describing what you do, okay? Uh, what happened in that situation? Oh, I would have, I wouldn't have. This is where you describe what you do in those moments. It's okay the difference between should and shouldn't and would and wouldn't. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. And then we have the last one. The last one is could. Now, could we can use, but for I could have, you should have, all of this we can give. Now, could is just the advice. This is where you reflect. Oh, you know, maybe I could have been nicer or you could have been nicer. Could can be used for both the other person and myself. The difference is if I choose for myself is for reflecting, reflecting in my actions. Okay, it's okay now the three different options, should, would, and could. All right, now we have some situations. Let's listen. Situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay. So let's take a look at different situations in your life, at home, different situations. They don't have to be real. Only they have to be situations. Okay. As an example, Morena. Morena. My wife has a boyfriend. My wife has a boyfriend. What do you think? You mm -hmm. uh, you should have <laughs> you should have um you should have spoken with her wife. With your wife. With your wife. Okay. And here, thank you, Marena. And here's where I want us to be clear in the difference. Here, we are not saying now. This is not deberías de. Ah, this is not, ah, you should spoke, have spoken. We want to say, ah, debe de hablar con tu esposa. No, we are talking about the actions before. Uh, for example, is correct your sentence, Marena. But for example, you should have given your yeah, wife more attention mm -hmm. ah, before yeah, because yeah, now yeah. is cheating. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I would have divorced you before having another boyfriend. So all of that we are talking about is not in this moment. Is we are talking about our actions before the situation. It's clear. Not only for Morena, for everyone. It's clear? It's, it's, it's like a past. Correct, Morena. It is correct. It yes. is the past. It is the past. It's, it's not the present. It's like that. Uh, Uviera, something like that. No. Correct. But remember, we have three. So they are a little bit different because it's would, could, or should. But it's like the idea. Uh -huh. That's the idea. Okay. Maximo. Maximo, Uy, they cut, they cut the light to my house. No electricity. Imagine Maximo, look, no electricity. Tell me Maximo. You, you will, you will have. No correct Maximo. You no ah okay. Remember when we use would is you in the situation. Ah okay okay. Would. You should. Would. You should is correct. You, you, should, is you correct. should have a lintern close to you. Close what to is lintern? What is lintern maximum? A lamp. A lamp. A lamp. Thank you. A lamp. A lamp. Perfect. A lamp. There you go. Close to you. Good. This is one example. The same. Maybe Anna says, oh, 
No, no teacher. You, you should have paid the electricity. Ooh, teacher, you should have paid the electricity. Or Anna says, I, I would have called guys to connect the electricity. This is the difference. You give the situation to your partner and your partner give you opinions. It's clear what we're going to do, like the example. Yes, yes. it's clear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember, yes. it's not necessary, it's not necessary real. It's only necessary situation and the partner gives the would, could, or should. This is the important. Oh, the food is salty. I, I am fat, or uh, whatever situation. Situation is not important. It's important using today's grammar, not the situation. Remember the objective. The objective, not the situation. The objective is would, should, or could have. Okay. Any questions before we begin? No. No? Okay, hang on. Let me make a little bit smaller. Okay, excellent. Let's try. <laughs> okay, um, tell me a situation. Uh, hi, uh, Julissa. Oh. Okay. Um, you start or I start? Uh, you. Okay. Um, I have a problem because I don't have money to buy the groceries for all the all, all the month uh, you shouldn't have uh, buy a lot of clothes uh, before your food very good alexandra great idea great idea but not correct grammar mm -hmm. grammar why not correct julisa or daniel Yes, she say shouldn't. Shouldn't is okay. Shouldn't is okay. What is, but why is not correct? Listen one more time. Alexandra, please repeat your answer. It's a good idea, Alexandra. Go ahead, repeat the answer. Sorry, I have problems with my microphone. Okay, my answer was uh, you shouldn't have buy a uh, clothes before a uh, food okay good why is not correct daniel maybe it's for before no it's for or... the verb buy it's the verb. remember okay. it's not correct the verb in present it's only only correct the verb in past participle you shouldn't have bought clothes uh, okay but but so listen to your partner okay. Remember, si tú no puedes identificar el error, tú también lo vas a cometer. So remember, listen to your partner and find if they have a mistake. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Continue. Okay. okay uh, now my... <laughs> yes, uh, my pet is crying because it's... Uh... It has a it uh, has a angry hungry uh, angry hey. or hungry hungry <laughs> he is he is hungry is hungry <laughs> he he's starving yes he he wants if the your dog wants to eat yes. Ah, you will have prepared some food for, for it. Yes. 
Uh -huh. And then one moment. you should. One moment. Thank you, Morena. Thank you. Is not the correct grammar. Good idea, but not correct grammar. Okay. Remember, would not you. Would is I. I would have. I wouldn't have. For you is you should sure. have. You okay. shouldn't have or you could. Thank but you. No correct word. One more time. Yes. One more time. And Anna, you should, Anna, you should how prepare some food to your pet. Ah, okay. <laughs> and yes. then you should have um you should have um you should have put a water next to the food. Thank you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> yes. It's nice recommendation. Yes. Or nice uh, uh, advice. <laughs> yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, so, teacher, in, in this case, um, if I want to say you wouldn't, in what moment I can use you wouldn't? Never. Uh, but the example, because I, I, I saw the example in the, the, the text box. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, but... When it says giving advice, there was three sentences. You could have been more un understanding. You will have borrowed some. Here, let's take a look. Hi, Maybe. welcome. We will now start. Only shouldn't have kept your note. Okay, in this one, Morena, in this video. No, no, no. In the in the chart, in the, text. in the, in the textbook, the grammar exactly. Okay. In this one, the third one, giving advice. Ah, no, I wrote, I <laughs> wrong, wrong, right. Sorry, because no I wrote you. Uh huh. Thank you. No, 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 no. no. It's so clear. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I apologize, teacher. No, no, I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Relax. The mistakes are part of the process, and it's good that you ask because if not, actually, I yo así lo vi, and no, it's okay. That's how we learn. So Okay, thank you. Thank you for asking. And let me explain for everybody to make sure that everybody, maybe, no, other, this law. maybe other people have the same mistake. Remember, is for should and could is you. For would is I. This is for positive or negative. The only one that is a little different is could. Why could is different? Because could is also reflection. When you think, ah, oh, I, I did this not correct. Maybe I could have been nicer. 
this is the only one that is different. But in the other situations, would I and should for you? Thank you, Morena, for asking. And for the other people also. Okay. I have a, a one question. Of uh, mm -hmm. cool, cool is more mandatory. No, no, no. Could is more possibility. So remember, should is recommendation. Could is option. Okay. So you and the partner at work arguing, arguing, are and fight, and then you scream loud. How do you handle this situation differently? Oh, I could have spoken to my boss. I could have uh, sent an email. I could have uh, relied. These are the could is for possibilities, options. Should is recommendation or decision. This is the difference. Should the decision you give because it's your recommendation and could is a possibility. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Of Great. course. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So now we're going to look at practicing in the writing. And Maximo, can you please read the instructions for this activity? Okay. Instructions. Complete the conversations using past models with the verbs given. You may use could have, would have, should have, or its negatives. Don't, don't need to type everything, only the past model with the verbs in its correct form. Okay. So what verbs? The verbs that are in parentheses. What models? The models could have would have, should have, or in the negative, couldn't have, wouldn't have, or shouldn't have. With your partner, you have to complete the four conversations. Remember, they are sentences, yes, but they are four conversations. So not only look at the sentence, look at the context. That way the context will tell you if it's positive or negative, the model that you need. Okay, it's okay what we need to do? Yes. Excellent, let's go. Screen. Yes, let me see. Okay. The, for which exemption? Oh. Okay, teacher. Um, we are start right now with the exemption. Three point seven. Three point seven. Okay, is this one? This one. I'm sorry, I was trying, but no, sorry. That's wonderful, Marena. Wonderful that you try. Mistakes are not the problem. The problem when you don't try. It's good that Thank you try. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we start with the first. The uh, but I think maybe the first is cool because um, como el el tuvo que en la primera can be cool. But should, should. is for recommendation. Mm -hmm. He should. Pero él tenía que. <laughs> bueno. He should. Uh, John borrowed my car and then it went here to him. So he told. He... Well, um... I would. I will. I will. I, I will. wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, will. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh -huh. I wouldn't. I don't know the past participle of land, but I think it's the same. Mm -hmm. Land. Mm -hmm. And another oh, cool then have. I'm excited. Mary came over and is. Stay until two a.m. She couldn't stay too late. She, no, mm -hmm. she 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 should. She should. She should. Yes. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't. Uh, stayed. You could. You could have, have a start. And then in the uh, before I need she should have not haven't. Where? When? 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 Uh, she should have haven't stay. I think. I in the three three. I'm Number excited. Three. Yes. She should. She should have not. Right? No, not, not. She, have ah, it. she not. She, she should have, have. Have, have. She shouldn't have. Okay. Have. Uh huh. Stay. Okay. Mm hmm. Ah. Um. She'll have told, maybe. She'll have told. told. Like that? She'll have told. Told yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Told you. Yeah, but only that, right? She'll have told. Yes. Okay, well, I wouldn't lend, no, in the, in the part B. Well, I, I wouldn't have lent it to him in the first place. Mm. Yes. 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 I think. Okay. I would. Couldn't. No. Couldn't. Is, like that? Yes, because it's uh, negative. It's going. Uh -huh. Going to have land. It's okay. Okay, so I see that we almost got it. We, we're going to check it together to make sure. Don't worry if you have mistakes. We're going to learn together. Okay, let's take a look. 3.7. Who would like to try number one? Mm -hmm. The number one is... Uh, uh, he could, could have dressed it. Okay, good. Only the pronunciation, dressed with T. He could have dressed. Okay, because it's a nice mandatory advice, maybe. Okay, 
Thank you, Anna. Good. What about letter B? I? I could have I asked. Okay. I could have asked him to wear something nicer. Number two? Should have told. Should have told. Okay. Letter B. Well, I. I wouldn't. Wouldn't have lent. Okay. I wouldn't have lent. Good. Number three. I'm exhausted. Mary came over and stayed until 2 a.m. She? She sure. She sure. She sure. Shouldn't have stayed. Okay. She shouldn't have stayed. Good. You, Johnny, maybe she would have gotten the hint. Too cool. Cool have story. Start. What about number four? Tom invited me to play, but I ended up paying for us both. Maybe it's I couldn't. Okay, I couldn't. Have paid. Okay, okay. And the last one, he invite you if he was short of money. He could couldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't or couldn't? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay. Shouldn't. Shouldn't what? Invite. Invite. Have. Yes. Have. Invite. Correct? Okay. Okay. Check. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We have some mistakes and I'm going to explain to you why they are mistakes, but good job for most of them. Very good. Yes. Could have dressed here. Mm -hmm. Remember, I could have asked. It's okay. But remember, you are having a conversation. The other person is putting themselves in your situation. Ah, yo le viera. Ah, no, I could have, I would have asked him to wear something nicer. Remember, it's not one person. It's A, B, A, B. That's why it's would. Number two, good, should have. B, correct, wouldn't have lent. Good. Number three, shouldn't have stayed. Correct. Here we have a small problem. Remember, is not start always is verb in past participle. Here we're going to have to use shouldn't have started, but also they're going to put in yawning. So it should have started yawning. Okay. Here I couldn't have paid for him. No correct is I wouldn't, okay? Because what do you do in that situation? Me, I wouldn't have paid. No, I couldn't. I couldn't is no money, but no money is not correct. Why? Because in the sentence before, it says, ah, I pay for both of us. So your friend, letter B, I don't know, I wouldn't have paid. And then the last one, 
Remember, always past participle, not invite, but invited. <coughs> it's okay, all of those sentences and all of those answers? Okay. It's so clear. Yes. All right. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so now we are getting ready for almost our last topic. Here, quickly, we're gonna watch a video and we're going to learn nouns for discussing reactions. Here, it's only for reactions. Share with us, how do you react when someone forgets your birthday? Learn <laughs> the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So, do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption, we won't tell them. So, what are we going to do with the partners? In this moment, we're going to match the vocabulary with the meaning. What is an assumption? What is an example? What is a criticism? What is the example? This exercise we have right here. Here we have the sentence and you and your partner are going to decide what is the correct meaning. So for example, if you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. What is this? Is this a criticism? Is this a suggestion? Is this a warning? With your partner is only discussion. What do you think is the correct for all of the situations. You see, we have eight. To be honest, we are not going to finish. We don't have enough time to finish, but we're going to leave it there. We're going to just try with the partners to get an idea so that tomorrow we can complete it, we can review, and we can do the exam, okay? So right now, only begin discussion have the idea, but today we don't check. We check tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Okay. Great.
Okay. As you can see, we learned a lot of different functions today. We learned how to express ourselves in the past tense. We learned how to talk about different situations and what we recommend, uh, what our suggestions and what we would do. Also, we started with the ideas of new vocabulary. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow, we are going to finish unit three. We are going to finish the exam and we're going to make sure everything is clear. Before we go home, any questions for today's class, anything that is not clear or you didn't understand? No, today for me was very interesting, clear, and I learned so much. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome, Morena. Okay. Well, thank everyone. Thank you for coming and thank you for connecting. Have a great night and I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thank you, guys.